So a few years ago, there was an announcement that Nintendo would license some of its franchises into anime. It has gotten people excited, most because this might be the first good thing that might have been licensed out. Well, at least at the time. Thank you, Detective Pikachu. However, it's been a few years, and nothing much has been developed. We don't know what games were going to be adapted into anime, or if they're still being adapted. Although, if they're still going to do it, I think they should adapt Kid Icarus. Most because Kid Icarus Uprising was a pretty good game, and fans love the characters in it and want more of them. And since the director of the game, Masahiro Sakurai, has stated that there's no plans for a sequel, we might as well get an anime to continue the story. So here's what I think they should do if they make a Kid Icarus anime. What can we do for the story, you might be saying. I mean, the ending of Uprising tied it up so perfectly, so there's no way we can continue the story, right? Well, not exactly. Some loose ends can be explored upon. Maybe we can have Pandora take over the Underworld, since she's the only Underworld commander left that we know of, and start another war. Also, we need to see Pit and Palutena trying to regain the people's trust. Why? Because in the game, over the course of three years, they were killing countless amounts of people. Yes, I know it was a chaos kid, but I don't think the people know that. And yes, I know Pit killed Hades in front of all those people, but for all they know, Pit just killed him out of his own interest and not for them. So it would be kind of interesting if we saw Pit and Palatina trying to make it up to them for all the bad things they did to them over the course of three years. Or that their double gainers did over the three years, it's not whatever. Additionally, I think we should have the Auron return. I will expand on that point soon. It's probably a good idea to introduce more characters, primarily for the bad guys. Because I'm pretty sure the Underworld Commanders are dead, well, except for Pandora, and the forces of nature are the good guys, or at least are on a truce with the main heroes. So it would be a best choice to introduce some more villains. We should try to grab some more characters from Greek mythology. The best choice, I think, is to bring in Ares, the god of war. Ares is the best choice because he wants war so bad, maybe he can have him and Pandora teaming up to, to start another one up. Also, let's give Pandora some extra help. Maybe we give her a god of trickery, a god of revenge, a god of evil. Also, let's make some bad guys that aren't on the underworld side. Here's my idea for a character. His name is Alos. He was a regular guy with a happy family, until Pit, mind controlled by the Chaos Kid, kills his family. And is horribly... oh... yeah, that. Therefore, he wants to kill Pit and Palutena for destroying his life. One day, he finds some leftover arm tech from the invasion and decides to inspect it. Then, the arm tech begins to communicate with him, saying that it will help him out that it will give him what he wants. And what he wants? Revenge. In return of that service, they want him to help them out with some of their things. And Alonso agrees. He lets the arm experiment on him. So he becomes this cool cyborg with arm and tech. Then he decides to go after Pit with his cool robot enhancements that gives him super strength, flight, a force field, and a laser arm. Plus, he can summon Arma as well. And every time he fights Pit, he changes his strategy up to throw Pit off his game, which makes Pit fight more creatively every single time because he doesn't know what he's going to face. With everything I've given him so far, I think Alice has great potential as a character. Remember every time you fight a boss, you see a portrait at the bottom of the screen? They should have found a way to integrate that to the show somehow. I think that would be cool. Also, this goes without saying, but don't! Include Chicken Cam. I want to see what's going on in the fight, not struggling to find out what's going on in a scene. So that's what I think they should do if they made a Kid Icarus anime. Tell me what you would do if you could make a Kid Icarus anime. And now, have a good day.